Okay, so I turn this back on. All right, so you, um, I have this image back, obviously, currently uh, on there. I, uh, this doesn't really make sense, right, for what I have. So uh, I want to use a different picture. So again, um, if I uh, back out of my library, they have the, um, or oh, sorry, uh, the starter assets. And if you go to the images, you'll see they'll have these like pre-done ones. I'm not really a big fan of those. I'm gonna see if I can find a different background picture. Uh, if you have your own picture, totally use that. That would be better. You know, you can, especially if you're a photography person. I know probably a bunch of you guys are. All the time, graphic designers are, are, you know, they have a certain amount of skill with photography. I personally am not a photographer, so uh, I'd be more likely to render out a 3D background. So um, I'm just going to click on that, and I am going to go to Adobe Stock. And then, um, let's see, we will do a free collection again. And I wish to grab um, background. Um, let's see, just try background, see what we get. Mm, not really a big fan of those. Um, let's go back here and see this again. Okay, import. Um, let's see, Adobe Stock, Abstract Collection, Packaging Collection, Electronics, Interior Design Collection, Business Collection. Uh, let's try Interior Design Collection. Let's see, see if by default it's giving me um, 3D, but I am looking for images. And we want to do, like, let's say desk. Uh, see, these are 3D models. I'm not looking for, let's see, illustrations or the photos. There we go. Okay. And let's see, let's just do, um, oh, here we go. So you can see they have some, some are obviously better made than others. Like they could do this one. I want to get one that actually has a, uh, like a, a floor to it. Um, I think for now, just cause I don't really care. I'm just going to go ahead and use the one that's already in here, but you would just follow the same process. So I'm going to go ahead and use, let's say, this table one. So I'll click on the table one. This will work fine. And one of the things I need to have happen is I need to, uh, if you look, see how the picture doesn't match this? So we can actually do is a neat little trick. So if you go to the environment, I go to the background, you'll notice that this actions is always context sensitive. What that means is that if I grab this, that one doesn't have anything. It has different um, um has different uh, options as far as uh, the things that it could possibly do. See, so if I go to the environment though, if I match image, these default settings will work fine and hit okay. You're gonna see it's actually gonna take this and match it to the picture. Now um, you can see as soon as I rotate around, it's back to being whatever. However, um, oops, let's match image again, hit okay. That will actually make it fit the picture and it, it, it will be able to tell the perspective um, and it should work on any picture uh, and readjust the camera to it, which is pretty neat. That's a good, you know, kind of starting point for it. All right. So um, that's the, the first major change that I feel like I would need to do. Um, the next thing I would want to do is um, the lighting. So I'm going to go to inside of the environment here and let's see, let's do the environment light. So uh, you can see if you double click on it, as I expand it, I'm gonna go to environment light and you can see it's using this image. And I wanna find something that's pretty similar. I think it might've actually automatically put a different picture in there. Uh, it looks like that's actually the same, at least the same style as what's there. But you wanna find a picture that's gonna make sense or an image that's gonna make sense. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, uh, an image for the lighting that's gonna make sense. Because what it's actually doing is it uses the light, the, the image, and it projects through the image onto the material. Because if you think about it, if you have something that's reflective, it needs to reflect something. And so when the light projects through the picture, it will, that will be what's on there. As well as like, you know, anything that's, anything that's reflective or, and, and same thing with like the specular highlights, these little shiny parts, um, it's gonna use that image. It's also got built-in lights here, you can see, and you can adjust the intensity. So um, intensity is just the strength of the light. You can rotate where it is, so you can see, right? doing that. This is, uh, this looks like this is actually maybe uh, like almost like a rim light because it's all the way back there. Uh, but you can adjust each one of these if you really want to like kind of, you know, get into the nitty gritties of it. You see the shapes are all circles. 
um, and they have slightly different color temperatures as well. So like these two are kind of a lighter blue and this one's sort of a, a more of a vanilla, um, but you can adjust that stuff as well. Um, if you want to do it in general, you can also change this one. So if you don't like something that's being reflected here, I could change the rotation of this and you see how you can see what's being reflected. Um, and that will change, you know, what, what that is as well as the strength of it. And if we want to change the color in some way. So, uh, but I think that's probably fine. I don't see any major issues. You know, actually, I don't like these extra lights. See, I'm getting more shadows here. I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm thinking I'm going to, let's see what we got options here. I don't want to delete them because I don't know what they're necessarily doing. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the intensity all the way down and I'm going to go to this one. And I think that's my key light, right? Yeah, that's like my key light. So I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to take this one. I can tell it's the key light because for one, it's more intense and also it's warmer. Typically the, the key lights are more warm. I'll take this one out as well. Um, and then I'm also going to take this guy and man, they don't give you a lot of options as far as rotation. Well, we'll just go with that. All right. Uh, I'm just going to click this little preview render to see what it looks like. So I'm going to hit that and that'll give me a better idea of what we're working with here. That looks acceptable, I would say. Um, yeah, that looks fine. So I'm going to undo that. Although you can leave it on while you're working. It's totally fine. It's just going to take more processing power and it'll take longer depending on your computer as well. All right. So uh, I'm just going to minimize that. Uh, the camera, uh, you can adjust things here, field of view. You know, um, oops, I undid. Uh, where's that thing? Match image again. Okay. So, so anyway, we are, go away. Oh, whatever. So, uh, they have different options here as well. Um, but, uh, oh, you know what? I know why. Hang on a second. Uh, so if you do something with the camera and you want to undo it, you can't undo it through the usual means. You have to go to camera and do undo. Camera undo. There we go. Uh, so yeah, if you need to undo, you can do it here. I also earlier, I don't know if you noticed, I hit frame. Uh, that's F, but you can also just go frame selection. So if you select something and hit F, it will zoom in and frame that. Okay, so if you find that you're like off center or out in a weird way, just hit F. Okay, so I'm going to leave the camera alone. I think that's fine. I want to keep doing with that. Uh, and then we have the beverage can. Now it's inside of a group. See this little folder. Um, you can make more folders and sub put in groups. Just be aware that like, you know, when you have an object, this object is made up of three elements here. There is the pole ring, which is that top part. There's the liquid, uh, which is the little cool little blue stuff. And then there's the can itself. We're only really going to be dealing with the can because this rest of it should be the way it is. It's just basic aluminum. Unless for some reason you want to change the material, like, oh, I want it to be gold as opposed to aluminum just to kind of switch it up. Um, that's fine, but just be aware if that's how you would do that. And then the wine glass is the same thing. There we go. Uh, it is made up of obviously the glass and it's made up of the liquid. So if I want to change the liquid, I would do it here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the wine glass or the, yeah, the wine. And I am going to change the liquid uh, because I want it to be the soda as opposed to this red wine. So I'm going to go to my materials here and I'm going to see if there's anything over here that basically makes sense with what I have. Uh, let me see. So Adobe standard materials, let's see, wood, uh, 3d printing, perforated. And these are all like hard surface materials. Beer would probably be pretty close and I'll just change the color to make it more what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and I'm just going to drag that into the material slot. Uh, let's see. Let's try that again. Let me make sure. Let me see. Actions. Oh, I'm not going to put a picture on there yet. Um, there we go. So now it's got that beer. And all I'm going to do now is go to the base color. Okay. So actually, just so you see what I did too. So I went in here. And if you double click on it, on the little icon, you'll go basically inside of it. And I hit this arrow to go back out. Okay, so I'm going to double click on the icon. I'm in it. Um, I just want to change the base color so it's a little bit more what I, you know, more like Pepsi. So it's got to be kind of darker. I was hoping there'd be bubbles in it, but I guess that would have to be models. Um, and then we can change the, um, so that's the color. That's pretty obvious, right? Uh, over here, you can change some of the material stuff so you can add glow to it. Probably there's almost no materials you're ever going to want to add glow to. Uh, how metallic it is. So like, you'll notice that the aluminum is very metallic. 
uh, roughness. Uh, that will give you more of like a, a matte kind of thing. So like plastic. Oh, if you hover over, it'll show you actually, I think. Oh, apparently you can attach images too. So uh, an opacity is obviously the see-throughness of it. Okay, so um, it's kind of a dib dip, kind of typical PBR, uh, physically based render uh, materials. Okay, um, there's also translucence, which um, into a reflection density. Uh, let's make it not so dense. Okay, we'll call that good. All right, so that is fine by me. I just wanted to change that one color. I don't think it's accurate anyway. I probably want to hit this and just get a better preview of what it's actually going to look like. Uh, and it looks a little bit better in preview. So that's fine. Okay, I'm going to turn the preview back off just, again, to save um, uh, time and space and all that. All right. So I wanted to change that. I don't really need to change the glass material. I do want to change the can material. So um, you can see pole rink, don't want to change. Liquid, that's going to be clear, right? So the only one I really need to change is can. So I'm going to double click on that. And you can see uh, we got the pole ring material and then we got this can material. So I want to make that uh, blue because that's the way that's the color the clans are cans are. So I'm click on this and I'm just going to make a generic blue, but I will adjust this later um, so that it looks a little bit more like that. Great. Now's the moment of truth. What we need to do is actually put our picture onto this. So to do that, it's actually pretty easy. Again, it's context sensitive. I could go import. I could drag it over, but it's easier just to do it right here. I'm going to click on this. It's going to ask me for a picture. Um, so if you hover over it, it should say like, you know, add detail or something. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, not 219, sorry, 119. I'm going to grab my logo and open. And voila, there it is. Okay. And you can see it shows up right here. And from here, I can actually adjust it. So I'm just going to hold shift and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller as I adjust it. You can just click and drag it to rotate it around. Right. Pretty cool, right? Um, so we'll make it like that. And then you can rotate it with this top part here. Or if you do want to scale it wiggly wobbly, which you really shouldn't. Come on, undo. There we go. Um, there we go. So now I've got my little Pepsi thing here. Probably should say Pepsi or something. Um, I want to add another one just for fun's sake. And you can delete it, obviously, too. I'm just going to go here. And I actually went to, um, if you just look up, like, barcode generator, uh, you'll find a bunch of them. And then you can type, I typed in this one. This one's what, barcodedesync.com. Uh, and they have different ones, too, QR codes and stuff. And then I just saved this picture where I saved the other thing. Okay, so just right-click, save image as. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring that in as well. So I'm just going to grab this one, open, just so you can see you can do it. Uh, I'm going to hold shift and make this guy smaller. And yoink. And I'm just going to put this to the side just to give it an extra little bit of believability. But if you wanted to add more and more, you can layer them just like you would Photoshop. Just make sure they have transparency so that they don't have like a white background on them, right? So if there was other elements, like you wanted to put the like ingredients or whatever that's called, the nutrition little thing, you could do that as well. Um, but that should be pretty okay. Um, I'm not going to get nuts with it because I was kind of going for simplicity. So at here, what you're going to do is, again, I'll just click on this. I will preview it to see if that's what I want. Um, but yeah, actually, you know what? Even better than that, I'm turn that off. I'm going to go to render. And then here, well, you preview it first. Let's see if it looks good. I'm going to go to render. And then this is where you're actually going to render out the image. Okay. So there's a couple different options here. Uh, let's give it a name. I'm just going to say, you know, pe Cone Pepsi Rebrand. And then the quality, if it's low, it'll render much faster. Medium's obviously in the middle, and high will take the longest. This is going to make a huge bit of difference based on your computer. So if you have a gaming PC, uh, then probably the, the high one will probably be fine. If you have like a Mac, uh, you might want to go low to medium. Uh, it sort of depends on what you're using. Um, I would say at least go medium. Lows only really if you're going to be like just want to preview it or like send it to somebody like as a quick little thing. Uh, but you can probably just do high. It's just going to take longer. So I would just let it do it. Um, I'll save both the PNG and the PSD because the PSD will obviously be higher quality. Uh, but the PNG will work for anybody. Then you hit render. And it should, I think, show up here. Um, okay, thanks. Uh, it should start to show up. There it goes. Yep. It'll start to show up here. And you actually will see it render before your very eyes. Um, 
and uh, you will have a rendered image. Now, I have a pretty good computer. It has like a, a really nice video card in it. It is a laptop, so it does get throttled a little bit. Um, but you're going to notice that mine's probably going to render faster than yours because this laptop's actually set up for VR and stuff. So it's it's um it's pretty tough. So anyways, when this is done, just save this and this is what you're going to submit. So in the grand scheme of things, this probably will take you less time other than you have to watch my video tutorials. Uh, it will probably take you less time. So you can see we're at 13 percent um, than, uh, you know, some of the other projects. Uh, but good luck. Feel free to explore. Go nuts with it. Uh, it's a really, I mean, it comes out with really nice looking results um, with pretty, with a lot of ease. Uh, it's just a nice thing to kind of throw your stuff on. So have fun with it. Enjoy. Uh, I look forward to uh, seeing your guys' stuff. Um, I might try and like post some of the stuff in announcements or something if you guys are okay with it, just because I feel like you guys have kind of been hitting the, you've been hitting it out of the park with your project, like the, these labs. They've, they've been turning out really well. I've been very pleased. So um, if you have any issues, let me know.